Hello YouTubers, today we'll be reviewing the Microsoft Surface Duo and how to do certain things on this device. We'll start by accessing the All Apps drawer. Just swipe up from the bottom on either screen and it gives you access to your apps drawers. And you just kind of just flick down. If you want to get suspended apps, you just kind of swipe up and it'll show you those if you have any. I don't happen to have any, but let me go ahead and open up some so you can actually see this real time. Sorry for the pause, but I got. I want to let these launch, and I want to swipe them away, so they're off the screen, so you can see it. So now, if you want to access suspended apps, just swipe up from the bottom and kind of pause, and there you have that list. And you can either swipe them each individual way or the whole list away at once, and you can do that on either screen. Okay, so just flick it up so it goes back down. If you want it to create a group, you go over to your all apps drawer. And I'll just select the dollar, phone dollar, well, I'll just select the phone dollar for now. And I'll long press it. And then I'll say group. And I'll group that with contacts. Because logically, if you're going to use the phone, you're going to use, you know, search for a contact caller and or text. So I just say done. And you just name it whatever you want. And I'll just say calling. And I like to keep mine kind of in caps because it shows up really well on the screen, as you can see from my groups. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that group because I don't need it. Because that's one of my widgets that I have always embedded at the bottom of my screen. So I'll remove that group, as you can see. Now, if you were on a website, I'm going to go ahead and open up Bing, for example. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to just open up a couple of uh, articles. And if you want to go back to the original screen, you just, like now I'm on the right screen, just swipe in and it takes you back to the main screen, like such. So, which is really cool that you can go back to get to whatever you were looking at prior to. Now, it functions the exact same way when you're um, on the um, YouTube or something like that, right? So I'll swipe that off the screen. Now to access the Google Assistant, either from the left or right screens, if you're on the left, sc left screen, you put your hand on the lower left corner and swipe up and it'll access. If you're on the right screen, you put it on the right side. Google Assistant, a lot of people didn't know that. So, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to go through the settings menu and I'm going to show you guys how you can. Um, put the standard Google Home back and suspended apps buttons on the screen. To get to your settings menu, you just swipe down from the top, hit the second little line, hit your sprocket, then you're going to go to system. You can type things in, but system is the way you go and you go to gestures and then you go to, you see this where it says system navigation. And you see there you have the option to do the gesture navigation or the three button navigation. So if you press this three button navigation, it'll put the software buttons that you used to see in on Android there. And what else are we going to do? Let's see. Um, I was going to show you just a little bonus footage on how you can uh, put your device in developer mode. You'll go into the settings. You'll go all the way down to about and you're going to go down to the bill number. I'm, I, mine's already in developer mode, but you would tap on this bill number six times and it'll tell you. You see, I was telling me no need, you're already a developer. So I've already done this function. And the way you can see that it's in developer mode, you're going to go to system and then scroll down. You see, it says developer options. That becomes available. And you can do some cool stuff, but I wouldn't advise you do this unless you kind of know what you're doing or you just. And enable one or two things that you definitely know about but I wouldn't suggest you do this unless you you know you're willing to risk it but I don't think anybody's gonna kinda take that major risk with a thirteen hundred ninety nine dollar device and um, so far this device has been great and I'm not having any issues on it I think again it was more muscle memory the learning curve when you do the gestures because there's probably some that I, I'm still not aware of but you know I'm able to do all types of things on this device and I'm kind of loving it, especially this dual screen functionality because I have my groups made. That's my social group. I do, you know, Twitter and Instagram. Launched I haven't even signed in on the Instagram yet. 
but even when it comes to video conferencing, I have Teams and WeChat, but I think that our government has suspended the WeChat because starting today, my WeChat has been crashing when I try to launch that group all day long. You see what it does? And only Teams stays up, and that just doesn't seem to be coincidental. So I'll just chalk it up to, you know, whatever's going on with our um, government right now. Um, I also have a gaming section here where if I want to play the xCloud I have my gaming group where if I do that game and I post it on YouTube I can go and watch it right after I've done that you know so this device is really cool if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks